Good morning, everybody. Camper and I are tuning in from Virginia. We are at one of the trailheads for the Appalachian Trail. Uh, we are going to be doing McAfee, 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 McAfee. It's all out. McAfee knob today and maybe a little further, who knows? But we figured let's take you on a day in the life. <laughs> Don't forget. If you want to support the channel, subscribe. Hi everybody, I'm Nikki Delventhal, and since the winter of 2019 going into 2020, I've been living my unconventional dream of living out of my Prius full time to explore the Americas and its natural beauty. And now, I have my dog with me. He's been with me since September of 2020. My best friend, and now, my little car camper. That's his name, Camper. We slept, at the, we slept at the campsite for the stars last night. Oh yeah. Sexy time. Look who woke up. Good morning, camper. This is what I do every day. I'm like still in bed. I take my bag from the front seat and I put it here and I'll take out my clothes for the day. Oh yeah. But then I'll place my bags in the back right there and then hop into my front seat. And it's time to go. Hop in the front where I change. Now the back seat is completely open. Camper's area is a little crazy today. We haven't organized in a couple days, so realistically, this is what my car will look like year round. I had a lot of condensation last night. Pajamas go in a bag. Oh yeah. Voila and we're ready to go. We're gonna start our day with some coffee. And of course, camper has to eat too. We don't have a lot of time. I really just wanna hit the trail. Now, if I did have time and I wasn't doing a big hike today, I would take the time to get the jet boil out or I have this, I think it's called Spardar. It's basically a cigarette lighter. Is that what they call it? I don't really know what else to call it though. Anyways, it's the plug-in, boils in 17 minutes, you can make it in your car, but today we're doing coffee, and how I'm gonna do that is I just grab my coffee from the cooler back here, I don't even get out of the car and the ice, and I'll just put it in my cup, and then I will, you ready? We're just gonna, oh, we got some dog hair in there, but I love you, so I don't care. Oh, that was actually grass, oh, it's all good. I like grass, yeah. This will curb our appetite till we get to the trailhead. I put so much cold brew in this. We are going to hide so much. Pepper has no idea what he's in for, do you, baby? Are you the cutest boy? Look at those ears. Oh, I'm obsessed with you. Give me a kiss. You know, mamas and the kids, right? Last night we did a major restock. $109 for all the groceries for the week and honestly it might even last longer the only thing we might have to pick up is more greens because I am a crazy veggie lady it was actually quite the adventure we first went to a Trader Joe's that was on Google Maps in Chattanooga and it wasn't even a Trader Joe's it was such a letdown so we went an entire hour out of the way to find a Trader Joe's Trader Joe's has the best snacks. We are super excited. Not sure how much of it we're gonna do because there is some rain predicted in the forecast. We just drove to the trailhead of the Appalachian Trail. So I am just preparing. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up my roof box, take out my backpack. I got my sunscreen on. Uh, so this morning, I'm just not feeling like cooking anything or making sandwiches. So I'm just grabbing some dried mango, put some almonds in here, a couple of bars. I made an overnight oats last night, which is just oats, a bunch of seeds and things like that, that go into a jar. So I'm just gonna take that with a spoon and that's my food for the day. Filled up my bladder for the day. That's about three liters for camper and I. Get all the essentials in here. So there's people around, so I literally just change in my car. And yeah, that's how we do it. Actually though, if I wasn't in a big rush, I would probably do one of my shower methods right now. All right, car is parked. We're all packed up. And let's start it. We've hiked, 
I have hiked a lot of the Appalachian Trail before. I grew up in Connecticut and lived in Manhattan for like seven years. So a lot of my time is spent hiking because I don't like cities, but I was there for work. So here we are, Appalachian Trail parking. Let's do this camper, are you excited? Look at those ears. Okay, come on camp. He hates going over rivers. One time we were in California and he thought that it was just leaves, but then he fell into the river. It was so funny. So this is what we do every day. I'd say like four to six days a week we're hiking or we stop somewhere to do something outdoorsy like rock climbing, swimming. We do tend to follow the weather. So if it's nice out, we're gonna go there. <laughs> Often I will do shorter hikes or create time in the day before, after, or between activities to leave time for work. Most of my income streams do not require constant Wi-Fi, nor are they time or location dependent. So I can be flexible on when I need to find good service or create a hotspot or go into a town for Wi-Fi, which I love. Link in the description if you wanna learn what I do for work or how I budget this lifestyle. Look how cool these rocks are. I always feel super winded in the beginning of a hike. And then like five minutes in, it's also because I start really fast, but I just get that second wind and then I coast and feel great and can go for up to like 25 miles comfortably. It's insane. Once I get over that first hump. So I don't really like hiking on a full stomach, so I tend to eat really light during my hikes. Uh, but I am starting to feel hungry, so it's almost that time. Oh, crikey, I forgot my tripod. Ah, oh, no. Oh. Selfie it is. One of my favorite parts of this hike is the people you meet. And there's a guy back there, very cool. So he was only gonna do a week in Pennsylvania and now he's in Virginia and wants to do the whole thing. And I don't know, I totally relate to that because I was just doing a weekend in my car and it turned into now a year and a half. So it just goes to show, just follow your heart. And if you don't plan until the next day, sometimes it works out to be the best thing you ever did. All right, breakfast time. We're about a mile in at the first shelter. Overnight oats ready to go. They're green because blue-green algae and I literally put everything in here from ashwagandha, chia seeds, flax seeds, everything. Almond milk or oat milk and my oats. I let it sit overnight in a reusable container and it is delicious. I'll even put a little bit of stevia or honey to sweeten it up. But this will be my first breakfast of the day. I frequent this pretty often. Otherwise I might do yogurt with the same toppings or a hard boiled egg and avocado. All right, camper, forward march. Let's go. Good boy. We move very fast compared to the average hiker. So we're gonna go around. I live for these moments. That huffing and puffing. Oh, that's the good stuff. Come on, baby. One of my favorite things about hiking in this region and north is everything is super rocky. So the hiking is just so different than anywhere else because you're always maneuvering on rocks. Uh, this one, not so much, but you know, when you start getting into the presidential range and all those, it's very cool, but still very rocky. I like that. So Camper and I really don't plan more than 24 hours in advance. Reasons being the weather or really just because I like to wake up and see how my body feels. If I want to do yoga or rock climb or if I'm feeling so strong, I want to get a ton of energy out and I want to do a huge hike. So the decision to do part of the Appalachian Trail today was due to weather and I hadn't done a big hike in a while and Camper's been sitting around a little bit so we wanted to do a big one. Camper, how you feeling? 
This is a great trail, huh? No day is like the last. Every day is different. We're always in a new location. I think the longest we've stayed in one place is a week when we were visiting my parents in Connecticut. And if we're not visiting someone, probably three days at a park or somewhere. We just like to move fast and change it up. I think it's time. Camper boy, you want some water? Yeah? Okay. One second, mister. Want some water? Oh, somebody is thirsty. Two miles, first water break. Maybe a little goodie for doing so good. Hey, camper, can you sit? Good boy. So are you gonna do the whole trail? <laughs> Today we're just gonna do part of it because he has to get neutered in two days. <laughs> but one day I will. Good boy. It's so funny how, you know, you can be so talkative at the beginning of a hike. And then there comes that point when you're like, okay, yeah, zip it. Let's just do this. <sighs> we're at that point. <sighs> Come on. You won the smelling Olympics today, camper. No one can smell like you. Yeah. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh, we are definitely gonna try to find a shower tonight. Oh yeah. We are at the overlook of Caffey Point. We've hiked about four miles. Camper, come. It's yum yum time. I've made snacks. What is that from? Oh, you're such a good boy. Here. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. I love you. I love you so much. Oh, you sly fox. Camper, can you sit? Good boy. It's pretty amazing. Although there are a ton of people up here, so prepare for that. <laughs> if you do this hike. We're pretty much just eating enough dried mango to kill a small child. And that might be lunch. And you know what? It happens all the time. We're totally cool with it. All right, camper, you ready? I'm going to make our way back down. Maybe drive to Dolly Sod Wilderness today. Depends, because I am determined to find myself a shower today, like a real one, not the gallon jug. By the way, if you want to learn how I shower while living out of a car, click the link in the description. All right, way back down, baby. Let's do this. That was awesome. And it's only one o'clock. We still have the whole day ahead of us. Oh, just walked into a branch. Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, look, camper, we did it. There's our car. Is that your home? All right, we did it. Now we are going to go find some sort of shower. Might be the washcloth shower tonight, we'll see. And a place to sleep and figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. All I know is we're gonna head north. Okay, strategy meeting, you ready? One, two, three, let's do this. Okay, so, right camper, so you have to get neutered in two days. And we're in Virginia. We were thinking Dolly Sod Wilderness, but it's kind of four hours out of the way. So, what do you think? What do you wanna do? I don't care. Where's my bone? Are there more dogs? Good input, right? I think what camper is meaning to say is, we should probably just start driving in the direction of his appointment and find something cool because sometimes that's the best way that we find things. For instance, we were in Alabama and we found the coolest spot and we were just rock climbing and we had a view of the lake and it was nice and that was by accident. So we love it. We're pretty tired and normally I would just go and make my salad now, but 
it's 3.40, the sun's going down in a couple hours, and I just wanna make sure that I can figure out shower options and a place to sleep before I waste time making food. So, you know, living in a car is all about constant organization and strategizing. So right now, strategy takes priority. <gasps> Camper is freaking wiped out. What a cute boy. Can you hear his snoring? This is a first. There is food ready to be eaten and camper. Oh, he knows. He knows. You smell it. It's dinner time. Dinner time for camper and mommy. Oh yeah. It's party time. All right, camper, up front. Can you wait? Free. And this is where we eat dinner. Mama's gonna make a salad. And I'm even debating a shower. $13. Do we want a $13 shower? I do know what we want. We want gas and food first. All right, and we're gonna make a salad at Love's. All right, we're adding in all the ingredients. And I'm not afraid to admit it, but this is how I chop up a carrot. Oh my gosh, how does she do it? I'm the queen of eating your food before you make it. I don't know how I do this. I literally have six spoons and I lose all my forks. Keep an eye out for the fork bandit, y'all, because someone's been taking all my forks. This is what it looks like. Food, food, and the dry bag thing. And now I'm just gonna Shake this up and eat it. Close that in there. Oh! Is that good luck or bad luck that a ladybug just fell off my car door? I would say good luck. Trash from the day. How do we do this video bagging? That is worth it every time. For skincare, I'm all about more is more. Ugh, I just want all the good stuff. I don't like people to be able to see me or what I look like when I walk out of a truck stop just for safety reasons. So this is what I look like walking out of a truck stop. Some people are kind of just like, I don't know, don't pay attention to me, you know, when I walk to my car. All right, that was a A plus shower. All right, everybody, we're gonna find a place to sleep for the night. We ended up at the rest stop. <laughs> oh man, we are so tired. I thought I was gonna be able to drive a little longer, but. So every day before bed, I do this where I just go ahead, take my bag and start putting them in the front seat here. Excuse me, camper. Hey. We got all the bags up front and all the space back here. No light gets in whatsoever. Good night, baby. So besides it being super loud, we're just gonna be optimistic and call it white noise. Oh, the sweet sound of trucks going by. It's almost like rain through the waves. Another reason we chose this rest up we're going to Shenandoah National Park tomorrow and it's 10 minutes away. Easy. Okay, I'm gonna go eat more plantain chips and then go to sleep. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. A day in the life of Nikki and Kampa. The happiest campers in all the land.